Thank you, Maria. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome. At first, uh, 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 let me take the opportunity and to give a huge thanks to the European Internet Forum for inviting us uh, to participate in this event and to tell you a little bit more about our work in practice. Just give me a second. I have to share a screen because I have one short presentation prepared. I hope that you can see it now. So, hello once again. My name is Sergei Kreins. I'm a co-owner of the uh, very young star, uh, Slovenian company called Thermodrone, where we integrate, implement, and provide services from the field of precision farming in practice. So, uh, let me uh, just briefly uh, uh, explain what the precision farming is. Uh, our uh, speakers before already uh, described this more in details. The main, the concept of the precision farming is actually the concept of management of farms with the focus on, uh, with focus on optimization of resources, for an example, seeds, fertilizers, and pesticides with the goal to increase yields, decrease environmental impacts, and improve and maintain healthy environment. So in general, the precision farming is not just the uh, high tech technologies, new, new technologies that are, uh, that are available. It is also the way of working, is the working ethics that needs to be implemented, uh, implemented in practice as well. Uh, so, in general, it, uh, the concept propagates resource efficiency and as a result, uh, is also, uh, it also uh, improves the socio-economic status of farmers and also the market competitiveness. If we, if we take, uh, for an example, the precision farming uh, uh, that, uh, that uses uh, modern technologies, it's, uh, it's, it's readily uh, the technologies are readily available and uh, most of the, the precision farming is based on the smart machinery and so on. So basically there is a uh, need for a smart machinery infrastructure, for an example, smart, uh, smart planters, seeders, uh, uh, sprayers and, and uh, fertilizer spreaders uh, that uh, the farmers need to own. Uh, this, uh, this machinery also needs additional, uh, additional uh, smart terminals that are uh, that are the terminals uh, terminals that uh, send the instructions to the machinery uh, what needs to be done or where where needs to be done uh, where needs to be done it's actually the interface that is uh, the communication interface on which also the tasks are uh, uh, imported and integrated and uh, by farmers or uh, external service providers. Uh, of course, the precision farming uh, practices uh, are nothing without the external infrastructure that uh, tells the machinery uh, its position so that, uh, uh, that the application of uh, resources can be done on specific places uh, uh, in specific uh, amounts. Um, and here, of course, is uh, one example of not so smart uh, machinery. It's actually basic machinery that it also can be used to some extent to uh, to implement the precision farming practices. Maybe a little bit more about that in further debate. So how do we do this uh, uh, in practice? How do we implement the uh, precision farming in practice? With, uh, uh, with new age earth observation technologies, uh, uh, I have in my mind especially drones and satellites, we are able to, uh, to get the, uh, the general picture of the crop uh, from the different perspective, uh, which tell, uh, tells us some uh, uh, differences. Based on these differences, and of course, uh, including also the other uh, data sources, uh, we then, uh, we then uh, 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 prepare the target uh, application maps uh, uh, together with farmers and these maps are then uh, imported into and 
integrated into their machineries for seamless use and uh, automated executions of the tasks. For, uh, for an example, for automated fertilization or spraying of pesticides and so on. Uh, of course, we are not relying just on the uh, Earth observation data. There is uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the area of agriculture is much more complex, so uh, we need uh, additional data sources and additional verifications as well. We have a multi, uh, multidisciplinary and uh, multi-actor approach. For an example, we combine all the different data uh, inputs that we have available. Uh, for an example, we we are uh, performing uh, uh, precision uh, precision uh, target uh, soil samplings uh, and soil analysis so that we can get a better picture of what are the actual needs in uh, each specific area of the uh, field. Based on that, we prepare the uh, precision uh, the target uh, uh, fertilization maps for uh, uh, fertilizations. So that uh, it's, uh, the farmers really use uh, the amount of fertilizers as needed. Uh, then we combine this with the uh, harvest yield maps that are produced by harvesting machines. Uh, of course, we are also uh, performing uh, uh, soil structure management uh, um, uh, measurements with uh, electrical conductivity uh, measurements. With this, we can get a better uh, uh, picture about the soil uh, structure and we can uh, perform future, uh, future uh, acts accordingly. And of course, uh, there are uh, involved different nitrogen tests and other uh, Tests to get a better, clearer picture of the entire uh, crop. So basically, our mission our, um, and our aim is to integrate all these complex uh, technologies because the, uh, the technologies provide really complex data, uh, data structures, and so on that are hard to read for uh, farmers. And our aim is to uh, gather these uh, technologies under one umbrella and provide them to farmers so that uh, they are easy to understand and they can operate and get the uh, maximum amount of the efficiency out of the available technologies. Thank you very much for your attention.